Sooner Rutgers Service has one of their trucks decorated tonight with flowers in honor of one of their own, Kyle McCullough, a tow truck operator who was struck and killed last night in front of his girlfriend. It appears as if uh, a record driver was there assisting uh, a motorist on the side of the road when that record driver was struck by that semi. Um, and it was fatal instantly. We were on the phone with his family until about four o'clock in the morning. Family, uh, friends, and fellow tow truck and, uh, operators at a loss today after 27-year-old Kyle McCullough was killed along I-40 just doing his job. It's tragic because it didn't have to happen. Someone was there to help another person, and in doing so, they lost their life. Co-workers say his girlfriend was inside the wrecker and saw the unimaginable. We arrived. Uh, the semi had actually left the scene. Uh, Pottawatomie County deputies were able to get that semi stopped four miles later. This hits really close to home. Um, I've been struck twice on the side of the highway. Edwin One Tisdale is a ago. fellow tow truck driver who had worked with McCullough a few times. He says the dangers of the job can be crippling. My heart starts beating as soon as I find out it's a highway call. You know, I've been hit, I'm a single dad, and you know, something happens to me, she's got nobody. He helps run a nonprofit called Highway Angels, aimed to help tow truck operators and spread awareness. In the towing industry alone, um, we lose one tow operator every six days due to strike bys in the U.S. alone. We're usually out there by ourselves and nobody respects us. The group is putting together a light up drive by Friday night in honor of their fallen brother. We're asking any tow operators, roadside service providers, mobile mechanics, anybody that works out there on the side of the highway. Uh, we're asking that, you know, if you've got the time, please show up. Now that ride will start at 6 p.m. on West MacArthur in Shawnee and end here at Sooner Wrecker. The family is asking for any help with donations for his cremation and service.